Well, here is the sale material that we just modified. And now I'm going to use a spray bottle of water and lightly mist my glass work surface here. And then I'm going to put the front face of the kite material on the glass, have the back facing me and smooth it out. Use my hands or I could sometimes use a piece of paper towel to help smooth it out. After it's smooth, what I do is reinforce the leading edge of the nose. And then I cut out the sail material. But you can see here that it's reasonably smooth. The wrinkles are still there, so the texture that I want will still be there. So I have my reinforcing. This is tape. I'm just going to apply it to the leading edges of the nose area of the kite, which I'd already marked uh, in the pat, you know, in the prior video. So there's one. And it's very simple, quick. And here's the other. Okay, now what I have to do is uh, put my kite pattern back onto the sail material. So it's positioned where it originally was. And then I cut it out. Now I have this soldering pencil that I often use. I also have a little more powerful one, but I prefer this. I file off the tip so that it doesn't have all the corrosion on it. And it seems to help with the uh, cutting. So I just press down on the template. And then when this is heated up enough, I can tell by how quickly it will melt through this. And you can see here, well, let's see, maybe you can't. Let's do it over here. No, you probably can't see that either. Well, I will just cut around the edge of the template here. The thing about a hot cutter that I like is you don't have to apply any pressure. The heat itself does all the work, and so you just need to guide it along the perimeter of your pattern or your template. This is one reason I always use templates, is because I prefer hot cutting the kite sail, and as a result, it requires a template for the hot cutter to follow. So where the tape is, sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get the hot cutter to cut through it all. But anyway, we'll finish it up here. A very simple process. Hot cutting may sound kind of complicated, but it certainly isn't.
And this works on mylar, polyfilm, ripstop nylon, Icarex, any synthetic material. And be cut with heat like this. So then I just lift it up. And sometimes I don't get it all cut, so I have to re redo it a little bit. So now I have my kite sail cut out. And I have the nose reinforcement already on it. Now I need to do is build the kite. 